Hi everyone, in this episode I'm going to be looking in the education pond here at Thameside Nature Reserve. Thameside Nature Reserve is in South Essex, right on the edge of the South Essex marshes. So I'm hoping for some good stuff here. It's one of my local reserves and it's a great site. There's all sorts of bird life here, all the different warblers, cuckoos and some really good terrestrial invertebrates. But today we're going to be looking at the freshwater invertebrates and whatever else we can find here in this pond. This pond was re-dug last year, so it's not matured but there's lots of lovely open water and I'll be honest with you now, I came here the other week with my kids to do one of their school holiday activities and it was really good. So I decided to come back again to do this video. I did actually survey this pond last year, a few months after they dug it and I found a few nice things. There are a few lesser water boatman nymphs, a small diving beetle, a diving beetle larva, and some pond olive mayfly nymphs. But since then it's had nearly a year to mature a bit more so there should be some more stuff in here and like I've already mentioned I was here a week or so ago and there was some nice stuff then so let's see what I can find. I should mention this pond isn't open to the public normally but you can come with a school or you can book onto one of their holiday activities and do some pond dip in here which I highly recommend it was really good fun. So let's get set up Well, net's ready, tray's ready, let's see what we can find. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Loads of water fleas, tons of pond olive mayflies, and I can see a less water boatman and a greater water boatman nymph in there. Also known as back swimmers, due to the fact they swim and hang upside down in the water, these nymphs are perfectly formed, tiny wingless versions of the adults and just as predatory that they take smaller prey like water fleas, just like this one is here. The lesser water boatman nymphs are also miniature versions of the adult forms, minus the wings, and in contrast to the greater water boatman, don't stay upside down, and most species feed using their front legs to sift through the sediment to find edible material to eat. These mayfly nymphs are probably pond olives, as I've said, because they're the most common species found in ponds. And a lot of them have very dark wing buds, which means the wing buds are full of wing, unsurprisingly, which suggests they're about to merge. Also just found this water louse. Based on the head markings, it looks like two spot water louse. Also an owl midge, an owl fly, or drain fly as it's sometimes known. These guys have aquatic larvae, and it's just landed on my pond tray here. I've now come round to the other bit of the pond to see if there's anything different over here. and there's plenty of wiggling around in the net. Let's go and see what there is. I'm not my algae in this. No, wait, that was just an extreme density of water fleas. Look at that. Looks like more of the same again. There's something interesting here that you can see. Well, I think that's mayflies have emerged and it's the skin they left behind. That's definitely a mayfly there. Oh, and next to it, there's the skin of a water boatman nymph. Now the mayfly will have molted that skin as it turned into an adult, so the wings would have come out, but the skin of that water boatman nymph would have been as it was growing. So it would have been one of the four or five stages it goes through as it turns into an adult. And if you look close at the last couple of clips, you will spot these saddle shaped seed like things floating around. These are Ehippia, the drought or winter resistant egg cocoons of the water fleas that are swimming around them. Now when I was here just two weeks ago, maybe three I think it was, this pond was absolutely full of phantom midge larva and phantom midge pupa. I haven't found one, which just shows you as the year goes on, how what's in the pond can change. Another thing we found was an acillus or the so-called lesser diving beetle larva. And I've actually seen a couple swimming around. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find one now. You can see this pond is so rich in life that <laughs> even when I put the tray in, I'm catching stuff. Let's see what I've got from around the back of the pond. Masses of water fleas again. I think I've finally got a tiny little snail. This is going to be a young, either great pond snail, wandering pond snail, something like that, I suspect. Oh, and there's a meniscus midge wiggling around there. Looking closer now, this is not actually a meniscus midge larva, but a small and unusually active bloodworm, which is a red coloured chironomid midge larva. Our first diving beetle climbing into the algae. I went back out to the other end of the pond where I'd seen the larvae swim in and had a few more sweeps for the net before heading back to the tray. I think I might have got one of those larvae. Oh yes, excellent, I have got one. Oh, in fact, I've got two. They are very weird looking things. 
some of you might be familiar with great down beetle larva. Well, these guys have got those pincers, but the head's a lot smaller. And it's on the end of this long neck. And they're much better swimmers. As you can see, they live out in the open water, which is why they like this pond with not much vegetation. I always thought these larvae behave and look a bit more like shrimps than other beetle larvae. A fascinating species I'll definitely come back to in another video. I just had a look in the one vegetated area of the pond, a very tiny little area. And a few nice bits. There's some very large water mites. These are small arachnids, so related to spiders. And the adults swim with all eight legs, in a way that reminds me of a wind-up toy. These ones were large, about four or five millimetres across. They're usually near two millimetres or so. While at the other end of the pond, I noticed a large pond skater species. It was a lake skater, one of the two Aquarius species that are about twice the size of the other pond skater species found in Great Britain. I could tell it was a lake skater, not the other species, the river skater, as you can see two upturned spines on the end of the abdomen, which are much smaller and less noticeable in the river skater. It would have been attracted to the large area of open water and probably would have flown in from the nearby larger lakes. This one was having to dodge adult midges that were swarming all over the pond. And it failed to get out of the way of one midge pair. While filming this pond skater, a cuckoo landed in a dead tree 40 metres away and started calling, which I just about managed to capture. My best ever footage of a calling cuckoo. We were just part of the wonderful wildlife around this pond. I saw a couple of common lizards basking on the boardwalk. And a goldfinch came down twice to the sapling next to the pond. But there was one last surprise. I had one more dip when the rangers and volunteer came over to see what I'd found. And remember those mayfly nymphs I said looked like they were ready to emerge? Well, they started emerging in the tray. Of course, whenever I focused on one, it didn't actually emerge, as the other ones did. But you can see the skin split on these. And here's a mayfly just after it's come out. And a fully emerged adult. A great day of dipping with some top finds. And as this pond matures, I'm sure it will improve, and I'll have to be back to check it out then. Plenty more pond life content to come on the channel, so please do subscribe. There's already some other videos on here to watch, so why not go check them out now? Thanks for watching.